Mina-san, konnichiwa. This is David. And Mina. And we are doing our first unboxing type thing with Gundams in some time. We're not dead. Yeah. Um, turns out I just got a replacement iPhone. Um, anyway, today we're going to unbox a couple of P-Bandai exclusives. Mm -hmm. First off is Play 2's Cubely Mark II. Um, this is the Double Zeta Gundam um, red Cubely uh, that is not Haman Karn's, um, you know, iconic one, but it's, um, it's, it's a lovely one. Super cute. It is, it is. Um, and this is the HG Revive line, um, so this is the new version of the Kubali. Mm. I haven't actually built the normal Kubali, um, so this is my first, um, Revive Kubali. So you're gonna be spoiled. I'm, I'm really, really excited for it. Um, I, I know that I'm probably just gonna break down and fucking get the other one too. <laughs> um, but anyway... The this, Revive line is not disappointed. No, so far I've loved everything in the Revive line that I've built. Um, anyway, I'm building this, uh, and, or unboxing this right now. I'll be building it later. And then um, also this P-Bandai kit, which is a funnel effect set for the Kubli. Mm. Um, and basically it has all of these funnels, and it has, um, it has these plastic uh, clear plastic uh, runners to go on it um, and make it do like a spiral effect um, you know so you can do Hamon, Hamon card and signature um, annihilate everything thing because um, she's a new type yeah because she's a badass new type um, and can you know lay waste to entire fields of enemies um, but so this is gonna be this is gonna be the thing so I'm gonna unbox both of them real quick First off, I guess I'll just start with the effect set because it's it's pretty simple. Like this is not something that you should be surprised by the contents of. Let's just put it that way. Oh my god! I'm oh, just kidding. <laughs> Stop it. All right. Uh, all right. So first off, it, we have the only yes. bag. Yeah. <sighs> this is a stand. Um, it's just your normal modern day um, comes with a lot of kits stand mm. um, in clear, um, which is cool. I like it. I think that this should come with every goddamn kit nowadays. Yeah, that that's like the Portance was the first yeah. time I saw it. Yeah, I think um, I want to say like the Starbuild Strike or something like that had mm. it. But anyway, this is a pretty common one now. Mm -hmm. um, the port, the Gundam Portant does have it. Um, maybe like denial or transient or something i don't know a few of them do yeah uh, but the tran the denial did not oh the denial didn't no. okay the transients up there i don't think so i don't know but a couple of them have it i don't know but i think that every kit should come with it Absolutely. they're awesome um they don't stop me from buying action bases but they are really thing. really great all right so anyway star build maybe yeah the star build strike i think i think it was the star build strike that had it um uh, anyway here is our um runners there's three runners they're pretty much identical um basically what we have is we have our and they're not clear they're, they're blue clear but they're not mm -hmm. like clear clear um they're blue clear so you've got this streak effect mm -hmm. that comes from them um and then there's your um funnels um and there's just a fuck ton of them there's there's <laughs> a lot of them um i don't even know I guess each one of these is four funnels. Um, so the, it's 12 funnel kit. Mm. Um, and this is, uh, so this is not like um, the normal brittle clear plastic that you get. Mm -hmm. This is almost a rubber. Wow. Yeah, this is this is real flexible, mm -hmm. um, real forgiving material. It actually feels really nice. Like, and this is a really, like, I don't know how it's coming through on the camera, but it's a really icy cool blue like it's very very light blue blue yeah there's no green or yellow to it whatsoever honestly the only misgiving that i have right now with it mm. is that i'm afraid that it's not going to look great with plays cubily oh, yeah. um i this is definitely this is going to look really good with Haman karn's cubily mm. um but i don't know about um, plays because do I they don't know. do Haman cards in the revive yeah that's the main one yeah the, oh, the white okay. one uh okay, okay. The, the white and purple one. Oh, you know, like the is that anything like the white one we saw at the um, expo? 
Uh, yeah, actually. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk more about what we saw at the expo in another video, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just went to the Gunpla Expo. Uh, it was really awesome. Yeah. Um, okay. And then here's your instructions. Shows you how to put it on the Kubli. <laughs> Basically, yeah, you take the tail off, and then you put a whole bunch of shit on it. <laughs> um, and, yeah, there you go. There's a whole bunch of different configurations. Pretty simple stuff. Um, yeah, they definitely have it with Hamans. Yes, yes, it is definitely, it's made for Haman cards, Kubli. Mm -hmm. So that just means I'm going to have to get a fucking another Kubli. I'm so probably going to do so anyway, yeah. Um, but I'll, I'll throw it together mm -hmm. with um, with the plays Kubli just to see what it looks like. I'll have to show you. All right, so there's that. <laughs> show you. Show you, oh, show you, if you're not familiar, is a Japanese word for soy sauce. Mm. So. Anytime you're teaching here and you tell the kids, okay, I'm going to show you how to play this game, they, they all crack yeah, up. Yeah, they, they laugh. They laugh. All right. So now the Kubli, the, the, the piece de la resistance, or I, I don't know. Um, it's been a while since I've done these videos. Oh, so. the, um, the... oh the, the Republic yeah. of Zeon. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you haven't seen our tattoos, yeah. we, uh, the Republic of Zeon, um, or the Principality of Zeon. Principality. I'm tired. It's been a while. <laughs> all right. So anyway, here's our box. This is another P Bandai kit. Um, all right. So the first thing you notice when you open the box is it's goddamn pretty. Yeah, it is. Um, this is like I, I gotta take it out of the bag before you even zoom in on it. It's, okay. This is like cherry apple red. This is like you expect to see on a '57 Chevy someone mm -hmm. has devoted most of their life to. Yeah. This is shiny as fuck. Yeah. It's beautiful. You want lipstick in this color. Yeah, this is not metallic. No. Um, but it is really, really, really um, luminous. Yeah. Like... High gloss. Yes. Um, lipstick or, or nail polish, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah it's, it's beautiful. It's... This is... Like, painting this would be a crime. Mm. Um, Geneva Convention, I think. Yeah. So, that is to say, Hillary Clinton would break it oh. and then still get elected anyway. Don't bring politics into this. <laughs> Don't bring politics into Gundam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. All right. So, we have our gray frame pieces. Mm -hmm. Actually, really lovely. They're yeah. very detailed. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, this is this is going to be identical to the Haman Cards Kubli. Mm -hmm. um, so this is what the Revive Kubli is going to look like. It's really lovely, really pretty stuff. And a lot of this is stuff that you would never see. Because you will not see this unless you're looking really close. Like, this is the inside of the skirts. <laughs> you won't see those. Mm -hmm. So um, they put a lot of attention into unnecessary detail, which is great. I love that. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And then here we have our other runner of plates. Um, here's our tail, our legs, that sort of thing. And yeah, yeah, it's pretty. All right. And she's a lot of big pieces. Yeah, the Kubli is is full of huge, huge pieces. Um, the the gray is coming off real blue here in the camera, but it's it's not. It's actually a real. Yeah, it's a, it's a real solid, strong gray. gray, gray. Yeah, it's not like a lustrous gunmetal or anything mm -hmm. like that, but it's it's pretty. Okay, we've got our beam sabers. They're actually really fine. These are not yeah. the normal beam sabers. These are really, really, really narrow. I guess plays are very girly or something. Yeah, I don't know if Hamans are going to be like that either, but they, <laughs> they probably are. But they're really narrow. Mm -hmm. And then we've got more frame pieces here. Okay, and then here we have our yellow pieces, mm -hmm. which are going to contrast off of that red really well. And this is not a lustrous yellow. This is more of a matte. Yeah. Um, it actually, this is a unique color. I don't think I've ever seen this on a Gunpla before. Right. It's coming across in the camera a little yellow green, but in fact it is yellow yellow. It's canary yellow. Yeah, it in, is. In person. It, it's really cool looking. Yeah. Um, I think it's actually getting a little um, green from the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, this is super yellow. Really great looking stuff. Oh, and here's our full size beam sabers. Oh, okay. So yeah, those are huge. Got options. These are like MG beam sabers. These are <laughs> these are fat motherfucking beam sabers. <laughs> um, so there we go. And then actually, I think these are like um, claw type things. Mm. I, I think that it's for her arm, but we'll see. It's been a long time since I watched that far in Double Zeta. Right. Okay, we've got our polycaps, of course. 
um, more inner pieces, more yellow pieces. Um, and there's the inside of that tail. That's that's really pretty. That's the um, going to be the part that affixes all of the um, funnels. Yeah, you're right. This is all really warm tone, so that cool tone funnel is not going to look It's going to look really weird. Yeah. Um, but that's just an you know, excuse for me to get Haman cards easily. And Haman's is like white and purple, right? Yeah, it's white and purple. Yeah. It's it's one of my favorite all-time mm. Gundam suits. Absolutely. Non Gundam, it's, it's a mobile suit, but it's a Gundam <laughs> series suit. Just, yes. I don't want someone to be like, oh, it's not a Gundam, of course. Yeah, well, whatever. They'll find something that not actually is that. Yeah, yeah. They always do, but it's cool. All right. Um, so feel free to leave your not actuallys in the comments. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Because you're going to anyway. Yeah. Ooh, more beam savers. <laughs> I mean, she's, she's got a fuck ton of beam savers. You should see our box of extra beam savers sometime. Yeah, here's actually. Oh, this is the same as this one. Oh, uh, so there's actually there. six of Those them. Those are claws, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Um, we'll find out. Oh, and then we got a sticker set. A sticker set with our Principality of Xeon thing mm. here. Um, Man, how close does that match the color, though? Because that can be tragic. If it I can... don't know, but it looks. I don't know. It looks pretty good. I mm. will find out. We'll find yeah. out. Um, looking eyes all of that stuff mm. yeah so i hope it's not a bad match yeah because that would be that would be a crying fucking shame so the looks like the um instructions they give you is for the Haman card. well this yeah this is for haman's um Kibali. and then i think that these are the modifications that make it different yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, these are the subtle differences here. Um, the claws. Um, yeah, or the, the not the claws, I'm sorry. It's, it's actually a triple beam saber <laughs> is what it is. Because one beam saber is not enough. Yeah, and then it shows us where our Xeon seal goes and all of that shit. Mm. Um, so yeah, it is subtly different mm -hmm. than um, Haman's mm -hmm. Kubali, which is actually kind of cool. Um, it's cool enough that or it's sufficiently different that they had to add another set of instructions yeah oh god that's a pretty kit yeah we're gonna have to get her yeah i really like the head yeah the head is um it's reminiscent of a butterfly yeah because you know cubely um although here cubely uh, butterfly is Cho -cho. Cho -cho. hi um Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's going to be really great. Mm. The inner wing. Mm. Yeah. So I'm super excited for this. Mm. Also, it's got the best color guide series. Like, it's, it is, this palette is wonderful. <laughs> um, it's just a great series of colors. Do a nail job in those colors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't I, I hope they redo the um, the MG Cubilees because mm. this is this really is going to raise the bar it looks like yeah um so anyway mm. here's our cubely uh, i'm gonna be or you know i'm, I'm doing plays cubely but i'll be putting it together soon and we'll do a review of it we'll talk a little bit about how it works oh forgot this this the the torso uh pieces um which are huge wow, nice i mean she's she's a big big fucking monster mm. mobile suit so that's gonna be the case um I really wish the revive line would um, launch a few things that we never got before, yeah. um, like the like the palace atene and stuff. Uh, we have an atene. Well, yeah, yeah, uh, but you know, I, or not the revive line. I'm sorry, like the the, the re one one hundred. I want to see a big one, mm. um, and like a queen mansa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although uh, the the queen mantha would be better in one one forty four, I guess, because it's really, really, really absurdly big. It is. It's about three times the size of. Um, any of the normal mobile suits so mm. i don't know but anyway i went off on a tirade there my <laughs> bad um we're gonna put this thing together we'll do a review mm -hmm. we also have another unboxing um lined up we're mm -hmm. gonna talk a little bit about some of the stuff we got at gunpla expo okay all right so matane matane